Diversity on Board is our effort to revitalize the governance profile of the city region, bring it closer to the demographics of people who live in the city. And this is not just an effort on representation or, or tokenism of any kind. It is more of an effort to bring uh, people with, quali with, with real qualifications, with real capacity to provide value, uh, but a different point of view and a different perspective. Uh, this city region is one of the most diverse city regions in Canada, possibly in the world. Um, and yet, when we looked around at the boardrooms uh, in uh, city institutions, provincial institutions, uh, voluntary agencies, let alone the corporate sector, we found uh, that whilst um, diverse individuals are very well represented on ethnic organizations, they were less re well represented on uh, on city-wide institutions uh, such as, you know, uh, the Public Health Board, etc. So we, our premise was and continues to be that it is not simply a matter of competency and qualifications. It's a matter of who you know and who's in your lens. Um, when we talk to board chairs and uh, board members, we realize very quickly that governance um, has a cycle all of its own. and. Uh, and when uh, someone is leaving the board, the nominations committee will most typically look around and say, who do you know, who can we bring on the board? And, and, and by virtue of, of, of this informal way of tapping into one's social networks, which is actually um, uh, has worked quite well uh, in the past, what happens is that uh, uh, because people's no social networks are, 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 are always limited, nobody has the ultra social network where you know anybody and everybody that you were only tapping into a minority of uh, the pool that could could have helped you so we set about to create a new social network uh, and and we did this very deliberately we reached out to individuals and said are you ready willing and able ready willing and able so there is a qualifying process there are competencies you have to meet. There is training that is delivered, if required. And then we propose to boards who are looking in different ways that when you, when you are ready to look for a new board member, take a look at these candidates. Um, our, the resonance has been uh, uh, growing. I don't want to pretend it hasn't been a challenge. It has been a challenge. But we, are, we set ourselves a stretch goal and the stretch goal was that we would make 500 appointments uh, by mid-2011, and I'm absolutely delighted that we have, in fact, overreached our goal, uh, both in terms of candidates. We have, I think, close to 1,500 candidates on our roster. 500 of these will have been appointed by the time you're listening to this, but that still means there are 1,000 candidates who are uh, wanting to serve uh, as volunteers, as governance, on voluntary agencies, on public institutions, um, and, and just need to be asked and, and brought on board.